At the moment, AI is developing so rapidly that the limit to what we can do to use it to help people is just our own imagination. Nobody knows what the possibilities hugely are yet. But crucially, we're also exploring where the idea economy is in this context, what we could do with it, what we are building with it. AI can help fight climate change on a worldwide scale in ever more useful tool and to pull out patterns and trends in ever growing amounts of climate data. And that's essential because the time window that we have to mitigate and adapt to climate change is rapidly closing. AI is posing fundamental challenges to professions concerned with pursuing the truth, such as journalism and law. It's a bit of a cat and mouse game, really, between those trying to manipulate the media and those trying to counter deep fakes. Because of AI, everything can be doubted. AI offers the potential for people to age independently in their own homes. So what's really important as we move the technology from the lab to the real world is that we ensure that the technology that we're developing is acceptable, but also is going to be used for ethical purposes. What we care about is having care-driven technology with the person at the center. One example is people like to cook. So we don't want to take that away from them. In these situations, we would like to create technology that does just enough so that they can continue to do what they used to enjoy and still be in control of what they're doing and not subservient to the machine. Artists have been working with AI as both medium and theme since the 1960s. A problem is that some of the main commercially available models are built by scraping the public internet for available data, but the artists aren't credited and receive no pay for the use of their data. Don't compete with AI where the strongest. Compete with AI where human skills are needed, where empathy and creativity counts. So I'm not really concerned about uh, AI's ability to warp people's version of the truth because we've been there before or we built defense mechanisms against uh, misinformation and disinformation. Currently there's no fully autonomous system for art production. If you look hard enough at any example of AI art, you'll always find human intentionality behind it. Artists are signals of the future. They are expanding our imagination on what AI can be, and they're also experimenting with fair and just models of ownership and access. Climate modeling and AI together can help us to understand how extreme events will affect us in the future, how we can better adapt to them, and what the limits of adaptation are. And we can start really harnessing this area of science to quickly pass this information on to policymakers for immediate action. We need to be bold and work together in challenging the status quo.